Hello everyone. So today I am back doing the much requested first impressions. My voice cracked. Today I am back doing the first impressions on the much requested Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place makeup. Now I purchased this a few weeks back, and I'm really excited to try this out. Now I've heard so many great things about this product, and I just. I just had to get it. So really quick, I want to give you the stats of this product. This is one fluid ounces. I picked it up for about $37 at Sephora. And this is in the color Truffle 6 and 1. Now there are 30 shades available in the line. So no matter what your skin complexion, girl, you can go cop you something that'll fix your needs with Estee Lauder. So I'm really excited about that. Now this product claims to be 15 hours of hoha. So it says, looks fresh and flawless through heat, humidity, non-stop activity, won't change colors, smudged, or come off on clothes. I don't know how true that is, because, I mean, makeup just transfers, you know what I mean? But, um, lightweight and so comfortable, you won't believe it's long wear. Medium to buildable coverage, won't clog pores, oil controlling, oil free. So all the things that I love, this is what this product claims to be. We're gonna put it to the test today. I'm gonna try it out right now. So this is the bottle right here. It's very, very luxurious. Like this packaging is so durable. And it just looks so fancy with the gold cap and everything. All right, let me try this out right now. So I already shook it up. It has a weird kind of smells like paint it's gonna apply a little bit on my hand okay that looks decent all right let's go This color looks good. This color looks decent. This is my hands. This is my face. And this actually doesn't look that bad. You let me know. Does this work with my chest? I think it does. I like the feel of it. It's not thin but it's not super super thick and the smell actually goes away after a while like I don't even smell the smell of paint anymore if that makes sense it evened out my skin tone really really well and you know what I'm not even gonna put a second layer of this stuff because I think this is perfectly fine for right now Lord I like how this feels I like it I like it so far so far so good all right all right, Estee. All right, girl. All right. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup, and then I will come back with my face all beat. <laughs> Check y'all later. Makeup done. I have, you know, set my foundation and everything like that, and this is the finished look. I like how it looks in person like this when I'm talking to you right here, right now. However... I did take a flash test and for some reason <laughs> my face is lighter than everywhere else I don't know what it I don't know what the issue is man maybe there's some light reflecting particles in this but I really like how this foundation just it looks good it looks good so I don't know what I should do so I have to go about my day right now the time now is 10:24. I'm not sure if you can see that. 10:24. It's 10:24 a.m. I will check back with you a little later. All right. All right. I am back, and the time now is 3:52. Not sure if you can see it, but it's 3:52. Judging from what I see on my viewfinder here, I really like the look of this foundation. My skin just 
is glowing right now. Everything looks kind of seamless. Now I did notice on my hand when I applied the foundation, it, it did oxidize a little bit because you can see the bit of darker brown. It oxidized a bit, which isn't horrible because it looks really, really nice. Okay, so I might be just a tad oily. It could be that on my highlighter that I'm rocking, but um, I still like the look of this. Like this is not too oily for me. I like how it just kind of gives me that radiant glow, you know, but in any case, I'm going to still blot my face. I don't have any more of my blotting sheets. So what I did was I took a square I took a toilet paper square and I'm going to be using that to blot my face today. Okay. So this is my face right now. All in all, I really like the look of this foundation. It looks very seamless. What you think? What you think, girl? So right now it is a little before four and I'm gonna check back with you guys a little later. I wanna say maybe seven or eight. All right, so I am back and it's very, very late. The time now is 9.25. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's 9.25 in the evening. And please forgive me if you see me squinting or anything like that. I'm under this huge ring light and trying to film this before I go to bed. This is my face right now. I haven't blotted since the afternoon and I'm just gonna check in my trusty old mirror here. So, I mean, I'm definitely oily around my nose and my forehead area. Chin is not horrible, but right here, I'm just like a I'm a grease ball. I don't think there's any makeup that's a match for my skin, for my oily skin, because that oil just comes out by, and it's supposed to be 15 hours of wear. I mean, I'm sure I can get away with um, blotting it some more. I really love the foundation. I love the feel of the foundation, especially when applying. I do, however, need to blend it more thoroughly, for sure but um, it ended up looking really beautiful and I've gotten a lot of compliments today. So I say that, you know, this foundation was a huge success. Uh, I wish it came with a pump, however, you know, being that it is $37, might as well just put a pump on it. I really wanna give this foundation a shot because a lot of people do rave about it and I do like, again, the feel of the foundation on my skin. I don't know if I should get a different color. Should I get a different color or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe it has light reflecting particles in it. I don't really know. And that is all for this first impressions review. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Two thumbs up. Of course, share this video with everyone that you know and comment down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel because I make videos every single week for you. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.